Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video with me. If you're new, my name is Amy, and I have been on a weight loss journey for the last few years, following the Start Solution and using the principles of calorie density. I am currently out on a run. I'm absolutely dying because this morning I did such a killer, killer leg workout by Heather Robertson. I'm doing the 12 week challenge and um, oh my God, my legs were like jellies at the end. So this is not my best run. I'm feeling wibbly all over the place. However, sometimes in life, you have to get out of your comfort zone, do uncomfortable things in order to move forwards. Otherwise we just stay stagnant. So this is me getting out of my comfort zone, running with jelly legs in order to move forwards. Hopefully this can inspire you to get out of your comfort zone today, go and eat some veggies, prep some potatoes, do some walking around the block or go and get some movement in. Let me know down below what you decide to do today to get out of your comfort zone because I feel like that's so important and I try and push myself every single day to get out of my comfort zone. Um, but anyway, I'm going to head home and get my babies ready for school. Squeaker. She always wakes up like this. I'm so upset. <laughs> Romy is properly awake now. She's honestly slept for like two and a half hours and I've been on the couch just working away, doing loads of stuff um, and having the best cuddles, obviously, but she is now awake and I'm getting hungry. So it's like half 11 and um, my day feels like it's nearly finished. I don't know how that happens because I have to go and pick up Abe at three o'clock and then the day's like over. Um, anyway, I have not had anything to eat yet today and it's so funny, I um, when we got back from the school run at like nine o'clock before I knew Romy was like sleepy and going to bed and stuff, I thought to myself, hmm, I wonder if I might make some breakfast now. I was starting to like feel like, oh yeah, maybe food sounds good. But then, Romy's been asleep for the last couple of hours and I'm only just starting to get hungry now. So it's amazing. Sometimes when you think you're hungry, you're not actually hungry. What you are, which is why I was, was bored. And I was like, how can I entertain myself? Oh yeah, it's gonna be food. Um, so sometimes when you're on your health and weight loss journey, you need to kind of realize that food shouldn't really be the pinnacle of your life. Food isn't everything. And what we need to do on our journey and what I'm realizing more and more is we need to look outside of food to find our fulfillment and our satisfaction. Of course, food needs to fuel us, but like it's the other things in life that are actually so much more important. And if we don't have other exciting things in our lives, that's the stuff we need to prioritize. So when we're missing something in our lives, whether we're bored or whatever it happens to be, we often gravitate towards food as a mode of fixing that problem. Um, so really try and think hard about your life in general. It really encompasses Mama. your whole life. And what could you put, to, what could you do in your life to get more enjoyment out of your life so your life is not revolving around food? I know that's much easier said than done. However, the point still remains that that is vital. Move your life in a direction where you are loving your life so much that food is its fuel. Mama. Anywho, yes, baby girl. Baby. My plan for this morning is the ice cream, but Romy needs a bottom change and a peach first, so let's do that. Okay, right peach and a right mango. This is an exciting morning. Right, you good? I love how excited Romy gets about fruit. I just did an Instagram reel where I was chatting about fruit and... Um, how people are very scared to eat fruit. When in reality, I mean, obviously it's because of everything we've been taught. Diet culture has people afraid of fruit because it's so full of sugar. But if you think about it logically, that's just outrageous and it's just ridiculous. And what we should be eating a lot of is fruit. What, you know, it just, if you look at kids, when you get the junk out of your house, kids crave fruit. It's sweet, it's hydrating, it's delicious, it's it's like a form of carbs. It's like kids naturally gravitate towards fruit. And if you're honest with yourself, you would too. If you got the junk out, fruit would be your like super exciting, indulgent thing. So um, it makes me really sad when people feel like they can't have a lot of fruit. And that is one of my disagreements with the starch solution is that they limit your fruit. And I don't think fruit should ever be limited. It is incredible, it is a health tool, and it is a weight loss tool, and it's just incredible in every single way. So let me know how you feel about fruit down below. Mmm! Oh my God. 
And it was really annoying when you see people online who are like, a bite of fruit. Mmm, that's so yummy. But literally, it's yummy. I tell you. I promise. Fruit deserves to be gotten excited about because... And if I'm honest with myself at the moment, fruit is what I am craving most of at the moment. Um, which is interesting. You guys know that you guys know that I used to try and be raw vegan. And um, I used to think that that was the way to lose weight. Um, I had a very strange relationship with it because I would hate it. Uh, but I would think it was the only way. And so I would do it. And I hated every moment of it. But I wasn't appreciating it. The f I wasn't thinking about the food properly. I was trying to restrict myself um whilst doing it um but now the further i the feel i feel like the further i go through my journey the more i'm gravitating towards not fully whole food not fully raw obviously but more raw foods i'm appreciating how incredible raw foods are when you don't look at them as okay that's what i need to eat and i can't eat anything else and it's silly i actually often deny myself um, the tastiest fruit because I give it to my babies but I want to start trying to prioritize myself when it comes to fruit because I also deserve to have fruit my babies do deserve it but I also deserve it if you are restricting your fruit at the moment ask yourself does that actually make sense does it So I've got a few crazy things in my mind today. We'll keep it, Ross. And I want to talk you through them. So the first thing is I've got some mung dal left over in the fridge from when I made wraps like a very long time ago. I have also recently eaten injera. I had massive uh, my leftover injera last night. And I was thinking, could I use my mung dal to make injera? or something in injera-y, basically that fermented kind of texture. And obviously in India, you do like a dosa. Uh, which is uh, like a fermented kind of lentil and rice combination. But I was wondering if I could do, if I could blend up my mung dal with some water, let it sit out for a while. It's obviously going to get a little fermenty and then I turn it into like a wrap and that can kind of be my version of a cross between injera and a dosa. So I'm going to try that out today. The other thing we've, do we've done, I didn't actually film yesterday, but we have loads of rice because James put some rice on, sushi rice on, it didn't work out. So we had to put another batch on because we had sushi last night. Anyhow, um, I now have a ton of rice and the Instant Pot is also full of rice. So I've got a lot of rice. So I need to try and figure out what I can do to use up some rice. Um, and I was thinking, could I make mochi? Mochi? Mochi, I think that's how you say it. But basically, uh, my, my thought process was, if I blitzed this up, blended it up, or something, maybe with some water or in a food processor or something, and then turned it into little starchy balls and then like either sauteed it or heat it up or put it in the oven or the air fryer or something to like crisp it. You could have it maybe sweet or savory. Sweet would be nice with loads of like fruit and like a syrup or sauce or something. Savory would equally be good with soy sauce and or maybe like in a miso soup or something like that. Anyway, those are the things in my mind today that I'm wanting to try out. When you've got a plethora of something, it really makes you think outside the box, doesn't it? Okay, but first, first, ice cream. Ice cream. So as you know, I have so many bananas, it's ridiculous. And I'm so glad because now I can have ice cream anytime I want. Okay, I'm going to go with something different this morning. I've decided to go for a blueberry vanilla cinnamon ice cream, which sounds really crazy. But actually, I think it's going to be darn delicious. And I fancy like a really exciting, vibrant colour. Heck, I'm just going to put them all in. Um, and I wanted more fruity goodness. I was thinking, how can I get more fruity goodness into my life? Ready, Ross? Okay, it's ready, it's ready, it's ready. Oh my gosh, and this is gonna be incredible. Look at that. So banana ice cream can be as boring or as exciting as you make it. So I've realized that just now, and I am gonna get creative with banana ice cream because mm, my fallback is always chocolate, but sometimes you want stuff that's not chocolatey. Is it good, Ross? And this is incredible. So go out there, try some new kinds of banana ice cream. There's a million different flavors. I'm gonna go mango next. So this is my ice cream masterpiece. Romy's digging into hers and we're just sitting at the little table. But honestly, mm, if you're well and truly hungry, this 
will be the best thing you have ever eaten in your life. I promise you that. Mama. Mummies. Yeah. Mm hmm. And. Yay! After we eat this, we are going to go shopping because we are running low on all sorts of things. Mummies. We're going to go shopping. Yeah. Ooh, I've really outdone myself this time. I have bought so much food, it's ridiculous. We are back from the shops and I have got so much stuff. Let me show you what the heck I've bought. My non-fruit and veggie area is smaller than last time. Look, that's everything. And the rest is fruit and veg and I'm feeling super proud about that. Okie dokie, we're starting over here. I've got um, some bananas. I actually have more bananas there because I was about to shuffle them over. But anyway, I've got some bananas. I've got two massive watermelons and I'm so excited about this. We're going to have some watermelon in a second. I've got uh, six little baby avocados. Romy's already eaten one of them. Uh, she just had a little sushi bowl just there. Um, I have got two things of apples. I went a little crazy. I saw six mangoes and I kind of just jumped on it. Um, and I just, because we had that mango this morning, it was so darn good and I wanted more of that. Um, then I've got some tomatoes and I've got two little packs of these cherry tomatoes. These are mine and Romy's absolute favourites. They are so good. Then I got super, super excited when I saw this. Cotton candy grapes. And these are just called flavour bombs, but oh my gosh. Oh, amazing. So I've got two of those and two of those. They were a bit pricey, but I splashed out and went for it because that's my special treat. Um, I've got two things of oranges. I've got the tiniest little purple cabbage I've ever seen in my life. I wanted a big one, but they didn't have any. Um, I've got three things of mushrooms there and some blueberries because those are Romy's favourite at the moment. Um, I also got some onions hiding in the bottom there. I've got three big fat packs of courgettes. I'm loving courgette soup at the moment. And tonight we're going to be having a uh, cheesy Alfredo pasta and I'm going to do some courgette in there as like courgette pasta with it. Uh, then I went very, ex I got very excited about the salad today. So I bought four of the Butterhead salad leafies. I got some romaine lettuce hearts. I got two things of discounted kale and I got two things of sweet gem lettuce as well. So I went a little crazy. I'm feeling salady because it's a nice hot day. Hopefully I'll continue to eat it the rest of the week. Um, I got two bags of sugar snap peas because those are my fantastic snacks for when I'm working or preloading or whatever really. Um, I got some celery and three little cucumbers in here for just general cucumbery goodness. Very sad. My organic carrots were out so I had to get regular carrots but still carrots are carrots. Um, I got three big things of broccoli. Each one has like two broccolis in it. Um, I got a big bag of potatoes. And I got this um, little Chinese leaf cabbage because we're going to do what we call in our house a sexy salad. So I'm very excited about that. It's like a peanut buttery Thai style salad. I might put some rice noodles in there and that's going to be delicious. Um, then my non-fruit and veggie portion. I got four tins of chopped tomatoes, some shampoo and conditioner, two squeezy tomatoes and some flat pizza bases because we're going to be having pizza tomorrow. Uh, then over here, I've got my frozen section because it just wouldn't fit on the, over there. Um, that stuff we need to eat really quickly. I've got some frozen garlic, three bags of frozen mango, two bags of blueberries, some pineapple chunks from the pizza, some sweet dark cherries. I did get two cauliflower florets, but I'm already cooking one over there for our Alfredo pasta this evening. I got two button sprouts. I got some edamame, some sweet corn and three bags of green beans because I am obsessed with those at the moment so that looks like i've got a lot of stuff and i do have a lot of stuff however it's not really that bad it only came to 116 pounds now considering i feel like i splashed out and went super crazy with the fruity stuff i feel like that's not too bad like i say every week i'm not going out to eat i'm not drinking i don't buy wine or any of those expensive things this is my luxury these are the things i prioritize and therefore 116 quid not too bad for me um, but anyway, I'm going to now put all of this stuff away and then I'm going to, actually, no, I'm going to do this now. I've got my leftover mung dal in here, probably like mm, a cup of soaked mung dal and, I, and I've got like a cup of water and I'm going to blend that up right now and put it in a bowl and let it sit overnight. And tomorrow we're going to see if it's any good and hopefully it is. But anyway, let's put this stuff away now and then I'm going to think about some lunch, but I am making dinner for the babies. Well, I'm making dinner for everyone now and we are having cauliflower alfredo pasta and i'm also going to be taking the kids to the park later because i wanted to take them somewhere fun and get, do it picnic style so that's why i'm making the dinner now 
so that we can, um, when, it, when we pick Abe up, we can quickly run out straight to the park. So that's my plan. I also need to have lunch and I need to leave in half an hour to go and get Abe. So wish me luck. Phew, we've put everything away and now I can, I can make a bit of lunch. Although it is a bit tricky because I'm not super hungry yet. So I might not make myself any lunch. I don't know why I'm just stuffed after breakfast. Okay, so this is my mix. I'm gonna pop this in here and stick it on the side and see what happens. So today's lunch is going to be just a really realistic mishmash of some crazy things that basically won't fit in the fridge because my fridge is jammed, jammed. It's bursting. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And the freezer, don't get me started on the freezer. I had a whale of a time trying to squeeze the sweet corn in. Um, anyway, so I've pulled out loads of different bits. I've got some leftover potato. I've got a little bit of quinoa. I've got some carrots. I've got some parsley. I've got half a cucumber. And then I've got tomatoes and red cabbage and some salad that needs to kind of be used and I've got left over half an avocado so I might do avocado dressing and put it all together and just kind of see what happens but I'm not going to do it yet because I'm not super hungry even though I feel like now is the best time to eat I'm not hungry so therefore I'm not going to eat yet but I might eat when Abe comes back home we might have to do a little bit of a mishmash of putting things together for half an hour before we go out to the park that is totally fine. But anyway, I'm so excited to have all of the fruit. Look at that fruity goodness. If you don't buy it, you can't eat it. I also wanna give you a very brief little um, meal plan. So uh, we actually switched these around. So yesterday we had sushi. Um, and tonight we're having Alfredo pasta. Tomorrow we're having pizza. Then we're gonna go for chili and then a nice stir fry. And I'm gonna do then, I haven't written it down. Yes, some oats. Oh, wow. I haven't written it down, but that day we're gonna have a nice sexy salad. Or we might have that for lunch, I'm not sure. We tend to like to leave weekends open just for extra bits or leftovers, whatever. Who really knows, to be honest? Okay, I've decided I am going to put my salad together now so that when I get back, I can shove it in my face really quickly and I haven't got to waste time and I've got 10 minutes to kill now. So I'm going to go in with... Oh, that's a bad leafy. Okay, I'm going to go in with two bags of salad leafies because I'm really in the mood for a good amount of salad. Actually, hold on. Should I go back for one bag? Nah, two bags. Fluff it. I'm gonna chop up the end of my parsley and whack it in. There we go. I'm gonna slice up like that many tomatoes. So for my dressing, I realize I actually have a ton of chickpeas that need using up. So I'm gonna go for a chickpea related dressing. So I'm gonna do like a cup of chickpeas. Uh, with all my kind of normal things. No! Lemon juice, aquafaba for that creamy goodness. What, a good cup or so. Two cloves of garlic, some salt. Okay, that's simple, then we blend. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Super, super creamy hummusy dressing. I've made a double batch so that I can save the rest for tomorrow when I want some more salad. But oh my gosh. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Okay, gonna head out now and then have a lovely salad when I get back. Right. It's typical that as soon as I'm about to leave the house, that's when I start to get a little snacky. So I've grabbed a carrot to munch along the way. Okay, a quick change because it's darn hot and let's get this salad together. So I'm gonna chuck everything into my bowl. Abe's got the cucumber, tomato, tiny bit of carrot. I'm also throwing in this leftover potato. Okay, so that was some bad quinoa. That quinoa had definitely gone off. So we're gonna go quinoa free. Okay, get this dressing on. There we go. Mmm, very yum. Yes, babe. I'm just gonna put all the dressing on to be honest. Okay, we need to leave in like 10 minutes. So let's make the sauce. I've got my cauliflower that I steamed up earlier. Hopefully this can show you that if you do a little prep in advance, it can make putting meals together so much more simple. I know today has been a very simple day of eating. However, oh, you know what? I'm gonna save some of this cauliflower to actually eat with my pasta, genius. Wow. I know this has been a very simple day of eating and I apologize it's not super exciting, but sometimes that's what you need to do in order to get through the day. Okay, garlic, salt, 
loads and loads of nutritional yeast for that cheesy flavor. Like half a cup. Okay, I've run out of soy milk, so I'm gonna have to use some oat milk. Right, I'm going in my like, mm, cup. Lemon juice. Mm. I'm gonna go in with a tiny handful of cashews, um, just to give it a little bit of creaminess and also for my babies. But you could omit that or, or use white beans instead. Then let's blitz. you can see how incredibly creamy that is and it's basically cauliflower mm. it blows my mind every single time okay so let's plate up all the babies and then we can get going so excited and also we're going to be bringing these grapes with us for munching as well oh man look at that sauce look at that sauce people so simple Okay, for Abe, I've got his with cucumber and Romy's got some tomato in there. And like I said, we're also going to wash and take these grapes as well. Simple as that. And I'm very excited to be outdoors with my babies having a lovely picnic. These are the things I mean by doing stuff that's really special that's not revolving around food. I know we're taking food, but the special thing is going out to the park with my babies. And that is like a satisfying, fulfilling thing to me. And I'm taking my leftover salad as well. Are you trying to cover your own feet? Yeah. Do you want some help? Yeah. <laughs> so we are just having our little picnic at the park and the kiddies are loving it. How's the pasta, Abe? Is it good? Nice and creamy? Success. Cauliflower success. <laughs> Can you sing and wind the bobbin up? <laughs> wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull and clap, clap. Sh show mommy how you do clap clap. Clap clap, yay! <laughs> we are back at home, we had a lovely time but then it started to rain. Um, I didn't eat any of my salad while we were there because I was just having too much fun and I was just caught up in the moment enjoying my life which is perfect, which is exactly what I wanted to do. And I felt so satisfied, like emotionally, being out and about, playing with the kids in the sand and just having fun like a kid. Absolutely loved it. Um, so anyway, I'm back home now. I'm gonna start off my dinner by finishing my salad. Then I'm gonna get on to my actual dinner. So for pudding, my babies are having mango and I am eating the doggy bone. Mm. Oh my God, yum. So Roms and I are just sat on the couch. I'm about to get her off to sleep, but we are diving into some of these flavour bomb grapes because they are just so incredible. Romy spotted them. Um, and I was like, yeah, you know what? Let's just have a little snack. I am hungry. So I'm going to make dinner in a second. So for my dinner, I was going to do crispy courgettes and I don't know if I can be bothered. Can I be bothered? Or should I just stick it in a pan? Oh, I just don't know. Now, you know what? It'll actually be delicious. Yes, come on, crispy courgettes. No, oh, hi, Tiki. I know you guys have seen me do this like a million times, um, but it remains a favourite and a classic. Ha -ha. We're going to go in with garlic, salt, and loads of loads of nooch. Give it a mix. It's literally so simple. I don't know why. I always feel like this is a lengthy process. It's not. It's more the waiting time. Into an air fryer for 10 minutes. Then we're going to give it a mixy mix and in on for another 5 to 10 minutes. And they should be delicious. So this kid has eaten a quarter pint of grapes, one and a half mangoes. She has had a whole bunch of cherry tomatoes, a ton of pasta. And now she's seen this just plain steamed cauliflower. And she's like, ah, give it to me, give it to me. She just like, I mean, this kid could eat for England, honestly. It's really quite impressive. Um, so what I'm gonna do is to fluff out my pasta slightly, I am going to saute up this leftover cauliflower with some of these amazing exotic mushrooms 
um, that I got discounted. Um, I'm so, so excited that they have loads of exotic mushrooms because otherwise they're so darn expensive otherwise. Um, so I'm gonna stick them in with the cauliflower and I'm gonna saute them um, with soy sauce and garlic and then I'm gonna mix that into my pasta with goodness. Oh my gosh, Rose. And then have that on the side of my cooking projects. And I'm like, yes, doesn't that sound incredible? Look at all of the veggies that I am incorporating into my pasta meal. It's basically veggies with some pasta, you know. Whilst I'm in the kitchen anyway, and whilst Romy is happy um, to chill with me, we're gonna test our luck out at some mochi. Now, I have uh, trepidations about this, but we're gonna give it a whirl. Roms, do you want to have a little taste? Yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah. yeah, you love rice, I know you do. Okay, so this is the old rice, and the, I mean, it is mostly cooked, but it's got a little, tiny little crunch in it. So, uh, we are gonna do probably like, what, two or three cups of it. I'm just gonna warm it up first. It's not tasty yet, is it? Not tasty yet. Okay, so we've got our steamy hot rice. Let's whack it into the food processor and see if we can make some magic. Oh, you are hot. Okay, we've come out with the stickiest mess. Now, this rice was not fully cooked, so it's got a little crunchiness to it, so I would prefer cooked rice. However, I am not mad about this in the slightest. Look at that. I feel like we're going to get some mochi here, guys. I do, I do. Yes. <laughs> Romy likes playing this game at the moment where she covers her face in her hair. And then she's like, where's Romy? Oh, oh no, where's Romy? Oh, there she is. Hi, Rose. Where's Romy? Romy. Where are you? Oh, there you are, beautiful. Okay, so here I've got my mushroom cauliflower medley. And I'm just gonna put in like a couple of handfuls. There we go. Probably like a cup and a half of pasta. In with the yummy creamy sauce. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at that. So much goodness. Now this is very exciting. This is reminding me of like a carbonara kind of vibe. And I was thinking it would be really good to have like, almost like a um, mushroom bacon-y stuff in here. Clever girl. So I'm just gonna add a few drops of this liquid smoke to give it like a carbonara-y kind of bacon-y vibe. I don't know if that's too much. Let's just see. You see how I've mixed the pasta in with all these veggies so that it feels like I've got a massive mountain of pasta. If I had it all separate, I would feel like I have hardly any pasta. Mmm, mm hmm Yes, yes, yes. Yum, yum. I'm gonna put a bit more in. That's the magic right there, guys. Okay, and there we go. Massive, gigantic, vegetable-heavy feast with pasta. Boy, is this gonna be darn delicious, guys. Look at the low-calorie density goodness in here. I cannot wait. Okay, so I swear, guys, this um, pasta. Mm. It's got the taste now and the texture of something like meaty, because it's obviously got the smokiness, but the texture of the mushroom, and for some reason, the cauliflower as well, is giving it like a... Now, I've never had chicken in the past, so I don't know, but this is what I imagine it would be like. These crispy courgettes are incredible. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna go and eat this while I get Romy off to sleep. So I'll see you later.